Now I actually purchased a few CPUs during my recent trip in Thailand, mainly in Bangkok, and uh, I bought one Q6600, which is the very same batch as uh, the one uh, Witix or Whitex from China used for the top CPU-Z uh, frequency validation. So far, based on ambient testing, I really feel there's some secret about this CPU. There could be one very significant individual core in this CPU. So I want to try, does my instinct give me uh, like, or lead me to the di uh, right direction? I want to see if this CPU could actually do very high frequency, at least on one of the cores. So I'm not that much interested in the multi uh, core performance right now. I just want to see what would be the max frequency just uh, with one core active So system exactly the same as last time Ram Beta Extreme Team Finland Edition Dominator GDX2 memory F1 dark CPU container Cryon out extreme thermal paste C-Sonic Prime 1300 watt platinum and so on. So let's see what happens Okay, my instinct was definitely all right. We are already beating my previous CPU in terms of just a single core speed. So the first core is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna save this 5.3.12. My previous was only 5.2. Q6600 is full of surprises. You have those mega uncore, I mean uh, multi-core capable CPUs, like the one I got from Sam, Tabaka. And then you have these really weird, like single-threaded monsters. I'm at minus 120 at the moment. This is my first boot. We nailed the top frequency. Just one single post and boot. Like what? <laughs> Damn, my instinct was all right. But this time, uh, because I've been moving the FSP way too much from 550 all the way up to 600 plus inside the OS. Okay. I probably have to reset the system and try to post and boot higher because there's limit how much you can move okay i just checked and the 5455 works so let's try a bit more but i think 55 not gonna happen Okay, it's crashing, but I think we got it. Five, four, six, two. Okay, we want five, five. No idea what's the needed FSP. Five four eight four. Okay, I think it's crashing. No. Five five oh five. Okay, we got it. Okay, now we are crashing, but we managed to do 5-5. Five, five. This is awesome. 5-5-3-4. Five, 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 five. Okay, we got it, I think. We got it, I think. I'm pretty sure we got it. 5-6 on the play right now.
Well, that's 5-6. Okay, will be tough. I really would like to see 5-6. Yes, we are close. We saw it! We saw 5-6. Okay, now it started to get harder. We managed to get 5-5-6-9, five, five, I think. We saw 5-6 twice. But uh, it doesn't really want to go. So, don't know what I want to do. I might just run some of these single call tests now. Because I don't want to uh, come back at this just for two different results. So, I now I set the memory and everything. Okay, it's not going well. Could be memory controller voltage. Yeah, I think so. Okay, the CPU ended up being quite weird if you ask me. It just couldn't run any of those benchmark tests like single threaded tests like PyFast 1M at above 5.3 plus. So not even close to 5.3. Even at 5.2 plus in PyFast it was giving errors at the very end of the test. So that was very very weird. The only thing the CPU is really good for is the CPU-Z core frequency validation. I purchased this CPU during the first day of my recent trip in Thailand, so on the 25th of November last year, as I'm doing this session on the first day of January 2024, so almost one and a half months ago. Uh, I went shopping in the two of the largest like IT-related shopping malls that usually have second-hand components available. Uh, I was doing this uh, like walk around when I was waiting to get my room at my hotel as I arrived quite early on in the Bangkok city and I of course I had many of the uh, known batch numbers of the good of or of the CPU models I was mainly looking for and I found a few on Panty Plaza. Panty Plaza still has uh, quite a few IT related shops open even after Covid they do have some second-hand items available, but not that many. Like they do, they did have like 775 stuff, but not any 3066. And usually on the newer sockets, they only have those locked CPUs. I purchased just uh, two or three CPUs during this trip, as I only wanted to buy those that I knew could have some potential based on the batch numbers. I did the same thing on my earlier trip this year in July. I bought a few CPUs, but they actually weren't that good when I tested them when I arrived at home. Palladium Plaza used to be a very big shopping mall before COVID, but COVID has kind of ruined the whole place. All of the shopping or all of the uh, shops on those uh, floors that usually had a lot of them, they were all closed. I don't know if they have some of those stuff available at the, like some kind of night market next to the Palladium Plaza. At least they told me so, so it's kind of sad, but there weren't many shops anymore remaining at Palladium Plaza. So uh, it's kind of sad because you, because previously before COVID, Bangkok used to be a very nice place if you wanted to find some very old PC components for a good price. Even Hong Kong in July, it wasn't very good because these old components, they aren't very good like uh, market to make some money in a very expensive place like Hong Kong. So I think the best place to score these old CPUs, old buffer boards, etc. would be China, like, like uh, Shenzhen, for example. That's uh, a place where I would like to visit at some point in the very near future. So when I actually arrived at home after this recent trip, I tested this Q6600 and I thought that it's actually really, really bad CPU. I actually, I actually discarded it after the first attempt, then I actually end up trying it again, like earlier, like yesterday, I think so. And I saw something that really raised my instinct. I really thought this CPU could have some secret when you run it on LN2 and I was absolutely correct. On the first post, on the first attempt, I already broke the CPU-Z core frequency record, so 5.44 on the first attempt. I'm sure this CPU can validate 5.6+, plus, but it takes time. It takes a lot of attempts and a lot of effort. 
and I don't want to waste all of my remaining LN2 right now just on this very single score. I'm sure it can do it, but it just needs some time. I already ended up using a bit too much LN2 just for this one single score, but at least right now I got all of the scores once again with the Q6600, which is actually one of the most important 775 CPUs that ever existed, along with like E6600, E8600 and so on. <coughs> so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I already checked, so the max validation was 5.569. I did many validations between 5.4 and 5.56, and we saw 5.6 plus two times, like 5.607 and 5.612 but I, sadly I couldn't validate them, it just hang. Sometimes when I pressed the uh, ZFSP button or right after it showed the frequency on CPU-Z, but that's what it is right now. So this score is already uploaded at hardwarebot.org when you are watching this video, so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you like to see this video once again, maybe consider about joining my Patreon Discord channel and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So hopefully you like to see my legacy overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.